It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Get ready for our, our pole sitter to come in. That's Travis Quapple. He drives the number 28 Academy Sports and Outdoors Ford for Doug Gates Racing. This is his uh, first career pole. Travis, congratulations Thanks. on that. And uh, this race team certainly has uh, persevered and done an outstanding job this season, starting on the pole Sunday at Talladega. Your thoughts? Just... Uh, yeah, like you said, just so excited about my team and, and, and what we've kind of been through this year. And, and you know, beginning of the year, uh, I don't think a lot of people knew where this team was going to go, you know, what kind of direction it was going to head. And, and uh, Doug and Max just worked really hard and, and, and persevered and, you know, pieced a bunch of sponsorship packages together. And, and, and um, you know, this is, this is a great day for us. And, and um, we're just really excited. You know, my team's worked really hard this is a brand new car and um, you know the fab shop the engine shop just really proud of what they've done for us and it's really nice to go out and uh, have a little bit of success all right we'll take questions now for Travis if you have one raise your hand we'll bring you the wireless mic we've got a couple of, uh, of folks with mics who's got questions for Travis one right over here and then we come up to the front go ahead I reached Spencer with Sporting News Travis I'm how much are you going to have to change the, the car tomorrow, assuming you're in qualifying trim? And um, did, it, did it help at all today to have an early draw? Um, I don't think draw-wise really was much of an effect. It looked, we were watching that flag today. It looked like it was pretty, uh, pretty still for most of the day. And uh, as far as what we got to do to make it race, uh, basically just pull the tape off it. You know, we're, we're good to go. Um, we did make – we worked a little harder on qualifying yesterday than, than, uh, than most – teams that were locked in the top 35 but we knew we had a shot you know at, at possibly getting the poll so we wanted to take advantage of that we did go out and, and get, get in the draft and, and, and did uh, a good you know race type run and it seemed to handle just fine so really the way the track is so smooth um, you know the, the handling is not there's not much of a handling issue so truthfully all we're going to do is uh, pull the tape off and we're good to go question right here on the front David Poole, Charlotte Observer. We hear all the time qualifying doesn't mean anything here. Qualifying, no matter where you start, and, and we understand that, that means for the racing, but from a psychic and, and mor morale value for your team, it, it obviously meant something for you guys because you had a shot and you went for it. Yeah, this is huge for our team. Um, you know, uh, definitely qualifying doesn't really mean a whole lot as far as, you know, maybe your chances to win the race after 500 miles, but, um, you know, we get a good pit selection. Uh, we'll have the you know, uh, less chance to, to get caught up in a wreck, you know, early on in the race. It doesn't take long to get shuffled to the back, and I'm sure I'll be shuffled in and out and around and, you know, throughout the field. But, you know, first few laps we'll, we'll be up front and hopefully uh, keeping it clean. Um, pit selection's big. Um, I think there's going to be quite a bit of pit strategy tomorrow with two tires and no tires. So having a, a good pit stall to get in and out of uh, is going to help you know, on that aspect of it. So, but more than anything, it, it's a huge morale booster for Yates Racing. Go ahead. Travis Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Can you reflect on just the heritage of Yates Racing here at Talladega? You know, so many guys have, have run well here over the years. Yeah, I, I remember watching the, the 28 with Davey, you know, running up front and, and uh, leading laps. And, you know, this is always a... This is this is a place that's really special to to the Yates family and and uh, you know my crew chief Todd Parrott loves coming here so um, you know having the, the 28 you know with the uh, you know the, the Alabama gang you know that that whole you know notoriety I guess kind of comes with the 28 so it, it's awful special you know I didn't really start thinking about that till now I guess but it's awful special to you know, there's a there's a tw a lot of 28 fans in, in in the Talladega area, so it's pretty cool that we can come out here and and, and get our, get our, get my first poll and and um, you know give those 28 fans something to cheer about. Any other questions for Travis? Got one right here. You said uh, that this poll was important for the morale and everything. 
what is what is the what are the future plans? Uh, we, we know that you have a we know that Paul Menard is coming aboard. But what are the plans for? Uh, for the other two cars, and, and how might today help those future plans? Yeah, today's a big day in, in helping for 2009 and beyond for Yates Racing. You know, Paul coming over, adding a third car, that's great. That's going to help, you know, make a more of a solid foundation for Yates Racing. Uh, but, you know, we, we're still trying to lock down all of sponsors for, for the 28 and 38 car for next year. You know, we're I feel like we're in a pretty good position to do that. You know, we're talking with a bunch of companies, and we've had a bunch of interest and in, in, uh, you know but you know to go out there and, and get those deals wrapped up if you can go out and run good and run up front that's that makes it a lot easier so this is just a big step and in, in, in hopefully um, helping putting those those packages together so you know uh, get our name out there run up front and uh, you know a lot of times that those sponsor things kind of take care of themselves so hopefully that's, this will just help in that uh, situation. Other questions for Travis? All right, Travis, great job. Congratulations, and uh, good luck tomorrow at the race. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. 